What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys been out there building shit. Believe in what God gave you, taking on new projects, building, fixing, creating, doing art. Like hearing that kind of message, hearing positive encouragement, uh, hit like and subscribe. So, a while back on my U-Haul truck with 7.3 IDI, I uh, did a quick video just where I plumbed in my, my uh, oil pressure and temperature sensors. And uh, I got some hate mail on that one, boy, because, uh, you know, the lighting wasn't the best and it wasn't perfectly clear where to where to hook them up. Well, you know what? Go out and get under your truck and look around and you might figure it out. But anyways, I'm going to do another uh, quick couple videos here and show you guys where I put them on this international because on the international, the whole hood tips up and we're able to see everything a lot easier. So... Let's head on outside, guys. As you see, International's got a lot more room to uh, work and stuff. It's a lot easier to get to your motor. What's up, YouTube? I just wanted to give you guys some alternative places to put in your uh, your uh, sensors and stuff. I've got my temp one going in here. But I'm going to tell you guys, that usually ha uh, operates your dash warning light. So if you're overheating, you're not, your dash light's not going to, you know, your red light's not going to come on no more if you if you stick it there. Um, the reason why I put it there is because I've got an international and I used to have it going where my finger is right here, down, okay, right there. But these trucks run a line that comes up to here. And honestly, I've seen a lot of bubbles come out of that. And no, I don't got a blown head gasket or nothing in this engine. But I see a lot of bubbles come out of that. And I think that, that might be what contributes to the cavitation in these engines in Ford trucks. But I'm not real sure. But it, it relieves uh, some air bubbles from the water pump that would go through the engine. And it goes up to here. So that seems like a better system to me. So I didn't want to put my uh, coolant temp in where I usually do on my Ford truck. So I replaced it here, but I wash my gauges and stuff enough anyways. If I'm overheating, I'm going to know. So then oil pressure, okay? It usually goes back on the other side of the, um, oops. this is your glow plug relay and stuff just on the other. Figure I might as well come around to this side of the engine. So now we're on the passenger side of the engine. Okay. There's your, uh glow plug relay you see right down here that is an oil pressure port too usually it's on like a little uh riser thing this motor didn't come with one in my u-haul truck i don't know why but it didn't but that explains to you guys so there should be a riser it'll usually be right up here and uh that'll be your oil pressure port on stock location all right guys so back around to the driver's side if you follow this uh, braided line follow it down and around and up there underneath the oil cooler inside of the block is where I've got my oil pressure fitting plumbed in so you can tee it from up there under the air cleaner where I showed and uh, split it there or just bring it down to one of these uh, fittings along the side of the block and uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what sizes because there's a couple different sizes. Here, hold on. All right, guys. So back in the house, it's kind of cold out there. But uh, this is the fitting that I took out of the block right here. Okay. I went and got this made. Well, not made, but I went. I went to a couple different stores in in town, and this was all that I could come up with to make the right thing. Was this into that? you know, or the, the right sizes, so it took me a while, and then, uh, I ended up, uh, having to get one at a 45 degree angle to, to fit behind that, uh, that oil cooler. Most aftermarket, uh, gauge sets will come with your adapters and stuff, and you'll probably have the right one to fit into the block. I believe they're, th mine was a 3.8, I believe they're like quarter, you know, they 
quarter inch or three eighths or something like that. But it depends on if you had a turbo truck or a non turbo truck of the six nine or the seven threes. Just for you dense fuckers, I'm gonna attach a little bit more footage where I talked about the same thing, but maybe you need to hear it again. I don't know. But my biggest suggestion, honestly, if you can't understand where my sensors go in by looking at the video, get your ass out there underneath your own truck, man. Till next time, believe in what God gave you. I just wanted to get another uh, quick glimpse. I'm going to show you guys where to put in your uh, temperature and, and, and uh, oil sensors. Down here behind the oil cooler, you can see that little uh, fitting there. You remove that little guy and you're able to put an uh, oil pressure uh, gauge in there. Coolant temperature is right there, but that'll take away your uh, your dash warning light. The, the place on Ford trucks that you want to do it is where this hose is going in right to there. You'll be able to put your coolant uh, sensor in right there. Just a few tricks and uh, or tips and stuff for you guys that may not be completely familiar with these motors. And the, the stock location for the oil one is the other side down. There's like a little riser from up by the by the transmission bell housing that your oil uh, pressure sensor goes into. Till next time, believe in what God gave you guys. Keep building shit. Hit like and subscribe.